ghetto style, except for Theo, we want all y'all rounds. All y'all. All of it. And we want them the raw way, too. We don't even need no jazz. I'll put up 10 racks of my own money. I'm adding 15K to that. That's 25 total. What up? Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Robert Moraine. Welcome back to the channel. This week, big news in the dancing world. Tide Eyes has just come out with a long live stream that he did on Instagram just about 24 hours ago. He just came back from Fusion Concept in Paris. They made it to the finals and lost to Nelson and Kefton, and they are calling it bullshit. They said that the jam was rigged and that there was a huge bias against them. He speaks for about 30, 35 minutes on the subject giving us a very well spoken and laid out timeline of the events that happened to him and Miho. He even is putting up 25k to battle Ghetto Style who are the organizers of the event to settle the drama. Let's roll this video. First off, Crump versus everybody. I already know what it is. That. <laughs> First off, that. America versus everybody. I don't even need to talk about this. Y'all know that me and Mio just came back from Fusion, which was a roller coaster and a movie within itself. The stuff we was going through up there. Do, do you want me to get into it? Yeah. Okay, first off, I did not want to do Fusion. Y'all saw my last live because of the biasness. Um, the judges that were judging. I just didn't agree with the whole system and I didn't think it was fair for me and Miho. So odds against us, you already know, but we both, so we went anyway. Right. Mm. Um, when we get there, our first battle is against these two German dudes and me and Miho are just like walking around, just being ourselves. This is a little character. We're not even ODing on the aggression. It's just like, we're just marking the territory. Um, long story short, we win that battle. We get booed off stage. Okay, we're very loudly. Yeah. <laughs> Encore. Lady yeah. Eyes is there. Yeah. She heard the booze. That's we got crazy. booed all the way off the stage, yes. bro. All the way off the stage. So that already put me in like, dang. Here, here, here it goes. And we're in the beginning of the night. Right. We just started, and we win, and we get booed off stage. We gonna have some shit to deal with. So we go backstage. The dudes that we just battled are angry. Mm -hmm. So they're causing ruckus. Miho is not trying to do anything unprofessional. So we're talking to the twins. And the twins is like, yo, just to dumb everything down, you should just apologize to old dude. Now, meanwhile, Miho's talking to one of the twins. I think it was, uh, I think it was Larry. I bring the dude up like, oh, you mad? Well, come talk to me. Come tell me why you mad. He goes, you know, we the same as you. We did, we just very competitive. We don't like to lose. I'm like, okay, cool. So Miho came over there. Miho's like, what's up? He's like, hey, you, you don't talk. While pushing him in the chest. And then grabbed his chest. And Miho's like, I will slap you. Like, I will slap you in front of everybody. So he grabbed his shirt. Miho pushed his hand. Miho grabbed his shirt. Miho rears his hand back. Niggas catch Miho's hand. So Miho's like, get off me. No, no, we ain't doing none of that touch. Calm down, Miho stuff. You, let's go outside. So Miho starts walking. I see Cannon, Kefton, Nelson, and another French guy running after the bro. That means to me, y'all about to try to pack the bro out. So I go, okay. I square up, and I square up on Cannon. Like, he's like, hey, why you trying to fight? I said, it looked like y'all trying to pack the bro out. Why y'all running after the bro like that? He's going outside by himself. He's like, no, and I see Kefton and Nelson, like, they trying to get by him. Like, oh, we need to get up out of here. So after our first battle, me and Miho were going to leave. Right. Miho wanted to stay because Miho wanted to see the competition through. I've already done Fusion, so I'm like, I don't even got to be here. We ain't going to get nothing from this anyway. We end up doing the pools. Now, I want to let y'all know that... Everybody decides in the organization of Ghetto Style and Fusion Concept who battles who. So they picked who was in those pools. We had like a 20-minute break. They picked the pools. Miho was in the second pool. I was in the fourth. I'm in the pool with a B-boy and two chicks. Miho's in the pool with Larry, J-Payne, and Kefton. 
<clears throat> Miho had the hardest. It pool. was already set up. Mm. So he goes into that pool. Miho scores the lowest point. So he gets eliminated. So unless I make it to the final, I can bring him back and he can dance again. Otherwise, it's he can only do tag moves with me. So I get to now they had a rule which Cannon expressed before the event started, the day before and the day of, said no touching. Because of Crump, right? Because of Crump, because of the B-Boy Jr. situation, he goes no touching. So I go, okay, cool. I know that rule is for us. No doubt. We can battle without touching anybody. Yeah. Right out the gate, with the, before the event started, he told all the battlers, all the battlers, no touching whatsoever. No touching whatsoever. If you touch, you're disqualified. It's a wrap. Bang. Okay. Everybody was there. We got it straight. We get to this B-boy. I maxed the two chicks. I'm battling the B-boy. Another rule. Wait, wait. All the first place bracket winners. There's four people in the pool. The best two. The two with the highest score. You get three points a win. The two with the highest score, they move on into brackets. So... It's Larry, Kefton, Miho, and Jay Payne in one pool. Larry had the highest points. Kefton had the second highest. So Larry is going in the first place bracket because he had nine. Kefton had six. So he's second place. So the best two move on to the quarterfinals. But you're going to battle the people in your bracket from your teams. So Larry and Laurent made number one bracket spot. So he's only supposed to battle number one bracket place people unless it's not like if it's his teammate, of course, he's not going to battle his teammate. But everybody else who had number one bracket, like nine points going in out of the pools, they're supposed to battle each other. So first place, four people in the pool, two people go. It's four pools. So that's four and four. The best eight, right? The best eight. Four is coming in uh, first. Four is coming in second. That's the rules that Cannon said. We get there. I match the two chicks. I'm already in second place. I'm trying to strategize because we want to battle the twins in the final. That's what we weren't thinking about, Kevin and Nelson. Everybody was thinking about Lilo, Nagin, and the twins. So... I'm like, okay, I'm going to max these two chicks, and I'm going to chill. I battle Lilu. Now, another rule, mind you, red side goes first all night long. Right. I started off on the blue side when I'm battling the chicks because they had to go first. Then I battle Lilu. They switch me to the red side, so I go first against Lilu. I don't max Lilu on purpose because I don't want to battle the twins in the quarterfinal. Okay? Lilu. Smacks my hat off, puts my head in his genitals. But before, no touching whatsoever. No touching. Lilo didn't get disqualified, and there wasn't even a conversation about it. It was all good because Tide Eyes kicked B-Boy Jr., foot tapped B-Boy Jr. at a crump event with crump rules. This is hip-hop rules. So you guys don't touch each other. But he touched me twice. Two times. Doesn't get disqualified. Fuckery rule number one. I'm like, okay, we got booed, and they not following the rules. That's two rules broken because they switch me sides. You can't switch the side. If I start off on the blue, I'm blue. You can't switch the side, and especially if I'm winning. So Lilu has a first place bracket. He beats me. I have a second place. So Lilu goes on to battle. Kefton, who was in the second place bracket in the quarterfinals, and they put me versus the twins in the first place bracket. Not only I had to battle Lawrence, I had to battle Larry, and that shit was back to back, no break. I battled Lawrence, then I battled Larry, back to back. No break. No break. Back to back two rounds versus Lawrence I won Respect. the twins were coming on stage like 
Why are you up here again? Why are we battling you? We're not supposed to be battling you. They're switching the rules up because I guess they really don't want Crump in this thing. I don't know. I don't know if this is an attack on me or this is just how the cookie is crumbling. What do you guys think? So I'm like, okay, I'll battle Larry. Larry interrupted my round. It was a disqualification. At one point in the footage, you see a whole bunch of people speaking French. Yeah. And you see me and Miho in the middle, dumbfounded. Yeah. Like, what's going on? They're having a full Paris conversation at this event. Yeah. Right after rounds. I'm like, there's no judgment. They're like, oh, Larry is disqualified because he interrupted your round. I'm like, oh. So the battle's over. You got disqualified. Larry grabs the mic and goes, no. I'm not disqualified. I'm going another round. Mm -hmm. I go, well, shit. That's star power for you. <laughs> we go another round. After the two, we go another round. Disqualification. Then we go another round. They say, I got disqualified after the two rounds. So I'm like, I interrupted his round. He was done dancing. So I end up going another round with Larry. Another round. Four rounds with Larry, two rounds with Lawrence. Like... That's four. Four rounds. I went six rounds in total, and then they give me a five-minute break, and it's straight to the final. Nelson and Kefton, they're ready to go, so we have to be ready to go. And then, they're on the red side. <laughs> so we like, oh, for sure. I just battled six rounds. Y'all been they chilling. That's how long the battle was. Look at me and Larry's clip. That shit is 18 minutes. The epic rounds battle. are 1 minute 30 seconds a piece or less. I'm going to do an epic battle. <laughs> that shit is that. 18 minutes because of all the fuckery. So, the B-Boy didn't get disqualified. Larry didn't get disqualified. And Larry and uh, the twins weren't tripping. They were just like, you know what? If we lose, we lose. But they wasn't fucking with the rules at Fusion either. They were changing them as they went along. So we get on the side. Nelson and Kefton are standing there, bro. And they straight told us, we're not going. I'm looking at them. I said, didn't y'all say red goes first all night? Somebody pop up and said, not in the final. I'm like, we in the battle now? Now you telling us this in the battle? Not in the final? Where the fuck is Cannon at? I'm looking for Cannon and Cannon is pointing, saying we got to go. I'm like, bro, I just battled six rounds. And Cannon wouldn't let them spin a bottle. Like, he wouldn't even let them spin a bottle. So he deliberately wanted them to go first. Six full-out rounds, bro. To the point where 15 seconds of my round, I didn't even know it was my round because I didn't understand the French. So he had the timer on me, and he's looking at me like, it's your round, you gotta go. I'm like, 15 seconds has already passed. <laughs> just serious b-boy didn't get disqualified i went six rounds with the twins wasn't supposed to battle the twins because i wasn't in their bracket i battled them back to back I did not see not one b-boy after that right. they and i go straight to the final and we go first and it was only supposed to be around the piece so after the little clap joint me and miho did we like oh for sure it's a wrap these niggas go two more times. Crazy. That wasn't the rules that I heard. Oh, hey, you forgot about the twins supposed to go straight to the finals. The twins were supposed to go straight to the finals because they both had number one slots. So there was no way I should have been seeing the twins. And there was no way I should have been seeing them back to back. Right. Facts. So it just really felt like an attack. Getting, listen to this. We got booed off stage. Mm. We don't want to come there. Then we get booed off stage. Then we get into an altercation. They look like they about to jump the bro. Right. They put Miho in the hardest pool. Right. They don't disqualify this B-boy for clearly breaking the rules for their avenge, to get avenge for the B-boy junior shit. So I'm like, okay, I'm thinking about the war. I ain't thinking about the battle. I'll fuck Lilu up. Right. Any more rounds, ear curtains. Like, I will... Destroy Lilu. I would love but to I'm see thinking that. about bringing the homie back because I cannot beat the twins by myself. This is my this is my mind. Like, no, I need the bro, and I need the bro to be a hundred percent because he didn't make it through the pools. This is why I can only call him for the tag moves. He couldn't dance. 
So I basically had to battle the twins dolo. But this is what I said in my live, bro. This is what I said in my live that was going to happen. And despite of everything they threw at Crump and at me trying to make me, like, they try to humiliate me. They try to confuse me. You know, and to the fact my bro was crying in, in mid-battle, bro. Like, as they was dumping this shit on me, Miho was crying like, bro, are you all right? Can you handle it? Can you do it? I'm like, I don't know, man, but we here. We can't, we can't fucking run. We got to make it. We got to make it work. The crowd was hating on us. But at the end of the night, everybody loved us because they saw what the fuck we went through. We were the only ones going through shit. That fusion concept was about Todd Eyes and Miho. We made the whole event, bro. We Facts. And, that, and you can look at the footage. We're, I'm not lying. This is not gas. I was really in shock and I didn't understand anything that was going on until it was happening. I was like, okay, B-Boy, you got your revenge, but... You got disqualified. Nobody said anything. And they're posting as a, it's a pride thing. Like, yeah, we got you. It's like, oh, that that's what that was about. Okay, cool. When that rebuttal come, I don't want to hear nothing. But I was trying to get my bro back so we could battle the twins in the finals or whoever it was. So you mean to tell me you make me go six rounds with the twins, Nelson and Kefton drop that trash, and they win? They weren't even trying they were dropping trash. And they win. Trying to hit the fucking wall. All because you don't want your hip-hop event to have a crump face. Because these are your OGs. These are the ones that's helping y'all eat. You don't want it. But they went down. They failed. It's a fact. We're not gassing. I know when I lose, bro. We know when we lose. And it just didn't sit right. Like, yo, we matched y'all from beginning to end. Seeing that you've never been booed. Right. Out of a building. Right. Seeing that you've never been, the rules were switching up every battle. I have never experienced nothing like this. And I've been in battles, bro, and I know hate. But this hate from the hip hop world is a different hate because they don't. Friends. Yeah. And I believe it's just, it's just Paris, bro. Yeah. It's Paris. Y'all got hip hop fucked up. Hip hop don't do what y'all do. Period. That was wild, bro. Y'all think y'all got the juice? Y'all are really fucking this culture up, bro. Like, really bad. Because y'all think y'all the niggas. You are not. Far. Y'all don't even know how to judge. And the music y'all play is not even hip-hop. It's just instrumentals of the shit that y'all like. Period. <laughs> like, mind you, me and Miho know not a track. So every kill-off was... We didn't know it was gonna happen. Like... Every song, that, the only song I knew was the Joyner Lucas track at the end, the very end of the event, because 18 Black Label shot a video to that, so I only knew a couple of patterns. But, bro, every everything that me and Miho did was organic. Freestyle. We, we had no plan. Freestyle. Freestyle. Right? So, ghetto style. So, I'm going to say this video. I would make some coffee right now. This thing goes on for 10 more minutes, and I don't want to lose any of the actual information sorry i'm not giving any commentary really i will at the end but so far this is a fair judgment on his part and we should listen to the last 10 minutes and let him speak if you guys want like this video if you guys are feeling it so far big respect to tie dyes for coming out and putting this on blast because this happens a lot and it should be addressed back to the video whenever they are now they screen recording now Whenever, you know. whenever, I believe that y'all owe us something. And y'all can't give us the win because y'all still, y'all got to be politically correct. So I understand that, but you need to understand that real does exist. Me and Miho showed y'all that. Like, real that dance shit. exists. That raw shit from the ghetto, nigga, from the true streets. Real and raw does still exist, even in this hip-hop community. Yes, and there are some people that rock with crump, bro. And that they're not scared of watching other styles go free. Everybody can't be junior hip hop and baby hip hop, bro. Let people let people come up raw and be who they want to be. Like, but y'all, y'all gotta bring that. And, and, and if this is a whole like Paris thing, if Paris is feeling away, and I ain't even talking about the crumpers, I'm talking about them dancers that y'all just think y'all super cold. Facts. Y'all need to come on out here. It's 25K on the line, and we don't do what y'all do. We pay our motherfuckers. Exactly. <laughs> we pay our people. 
that's another story. So I just wanted to tell y'all everything that happened at Fusion. Make this call out. So when y'all look at the footage now, y'all can see what's really happening. I'll be seeing the memes about the B-boy shit. It's like, bro, it was that revenge or was that what? What Guilty. was that? That shit was set up, bro. What was that? Like, really? It was set up. This is how you know you're great. When you can piss off a whole dance style that you ain't even a part of. Mm. Yo, I did not hear this side of the story when I made my video about the revenge for Junior and it not being a controversy. Sounds like it was a controversy because with all these politics involved, it really changes my perspective on everything. Let's listen to what he has to say. Sorry for interrupting last time. Bro, come on. These niggas was waiting two years for Lee Loop to. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all waited two years for that shit? <laughs> he should have had a colder move than that. That shit was gay. Now, if I would have matched him on some street shit and put my hands on him, Todd Eyes would have been the bad guy. Right. Facts. Oh, but you didn't let you didn't let the dog out the cage now. He's an animal. Right? Yeah, yeah. What if you done slapped him? Yeah, you good. You good. You, you like all that? And the next time I see you, Lilu, I'm taking your motherfucking head off, bro. Mm. <laughs> like, all out. And that was gay. Yeah, and it was some gay that shit. Was gay. So. All right, I'm stopping it here. Yo, what's up with the homophobia in 2019 in the dance scene? Like, can we just stop with that already? Really, homophobia from everyone there? Like, no one's thinking twice about what they're saying. Uh, I'm gonna make a video addressing the homophobia in street dance. It needs to be talked about on a big platform. Not that my platform's big, but come on, y'all. Back to the video. Like, we really don't fuck with that. But I respect the reason why you did it. You was avenging your brother. That's all good, but you're supposed to be disqualified, doggy dog. Yeah. But I guess that ain't the crump rule book or the fusion rule book when it comes to crumpers. Facts. So, Ghetto style, we need them rounds. Yeah, ghetto style right. versus 18 black label. 18. Ghetto style <laughs> versus 18. Ghetto style <laughs> versus crump. Well, and we want to show y'all. We Y'all need to expand y'all mind. Y'all thinking y'all just got this little circle. Y'all it. Y'all take all culture from us anyway. Period. Mm -hmm. So bring that ass over here. Get a history <laughs> lesson real quick. Come get these music too. Get the Bay. Get the West yeah. Coast, South, Crump. Get, get your West playlist East. up. Get your Let's playlist. Go, so. <laughs> get your playlist up. over there every year is ass. We y'all been telling Cannon about that shit, yo, every year. <laughs> We're talking to the people that's been the qualifier for over five years for the USA. We know what y'all do to us every year. Every Facts. year. Facts. This shit gotta stop. Y'all mistreat, mistreat, mistreat American dancers. Yeah. yeah. But this time, y'all y'all and expose y'all own hand. Because right. everybody saw what y'all did to me and Miho, bro. Right. Facts. Right. Everybody was sensed. Everybody saw that. And people was there. Yeah. We yeah. got you. <laughs> the whole time. We got you. Saw so what y'all did to Havoc. Lady oh, Eyes. you didn't even let... Wait, hold on. Let's talk about this. Havoc and Lady Eyes are the pre-selection, right? They go against some ghetto style to bees. <laughs> right? Lady Eyes. Ghetto style to bees. Lady oh Eyes, Havoc go against the ghetto style to bees. One dude tries to crump. She's crump. One guy tries to crump. Right. Do you understand this? Tries to crump. <laughs> she is crump. Havoc maxed everybody's round anyway. Maxed. And they lose. Be you know why? Because they're not ghetto style natives or Paris natives. They did not want that U.S. lineup to be a problem at Fusion. Mm. They did not want it because... That's too much ammunition to ignore. Yeah. So we have so many reasons why we're calling this out. And we know y'all going to pussyfoot around. Yeah. We know what y'all going to do. Y'all can post y'all videos. But bro, this call out is real. Oh, and we need to run that. And I don't even care what we run it at. If I see any ghetto style member and you know the truth. And you rock with all the fuck shit? Oh my god. It, Fam it's or done. not. It's done for done. you. It's done for you. Done. It's done. Fam or not. So ghetto style, you need to run that. Cannon, I ain't even gonna say, bro, I'm not even gonna say nothing. But if I, bro, look, ghetto style gotta run that. Period. And any other person that gets offended by this over in the Paris area, that is ignoring the truth about that night 
You gotta run that too. Y'all know the energy y'all bring to us. Yeah, it's twenty five k. It's twenty five k on the line. Period. I guarantee you, we'll pay up if we lose. Period. Guarantee. It's on video. Damn right, oh, we'll get, say, some, oh, we'll get some judges that really know what's up. That ain't even that on credible. Crew. That ain't even on credible. Crew. That ain't even on credible. We don't need the whole A team to be the judge for both days. Trash. <laughs> Havoc and Max, all y'all by himself, who was on that judge panel. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Right. Crazy. No U.S. on the judge panel this year? Why? Crazy. Oh, maybe Everything. because you've been raping everybody, so nobody's wanted to do it. Right. Why don't you got one of the gods on there? Why isn't Miho Art Chess on the judge panel? Come on. Why weren't they judging in the first place? We are dancers, but this shit, because we're dancers, we have to take it. It's not... It's a rap. That's a rap, bro. It's a rap. Mm. We're gods. Like, yeah, we're warriors. We're giants. You saw me and Miho come up out of all of that shit that was put on top of us. You saw art as pure form from pure artists. Right. Like, it don't sit well with us. And yes, it's bittersweet. Me and Miho did our job. And we're going to let that marinate. And we're going to let that sit on all the people that have doubted. But y'all got to pay for that bullshit. Absolutely. Y'all yeah. got to pay for that bullshit. And now that we see what y'all on, like y'all on some real, like y'all, it's real hatred. Yeah. We don't know why the hate runs so deep, but you, at least if you're going to hate like that, you better be the shit. <laughs> you better be tight. And the West Twins wasn't showing no hate either in the midst of their battle. But they knew something was going on. Yeah. Like you could tell the confusion in their face. These are the twins, the and they from France. They don't know what's happening with these rules. Right. They don't know what's going on. That was crazy. So yeah. But one thing y'all did do though was unite the U.S. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Because that's all up. we need. U.S. stand up, yo. This is the last of this shit. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Now we got the U.S. rocking with us. Now y'all whole shit is exposed. Y'all whole operation. All right. That's the bad part about the footage that y'all dropping. So, yeah, keep dropping it. And show that Nelson and Kefton did not win. And show the confusion that was happening before. Don't try yeah. to edit and chop it up. Because we got the raw footage, they too. Got all of it. And we're going to give a play-by-play. -play. Absolutely. <laughs> Every situation, we're going to give a play-by-play. -play. And we got behind-the-scenes footage, too. Right. So y'all stay tuned. Ghetto style, I need that inbox or that challenge accepted. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to hear no bros. I don't want to hear no goats. Just tell me challenge accepted. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all get y'all best five, best six, seven, eight, nine. Get ten. ten. You're gonna need about ten niggas, and we'll bring Twelve. five. We'll bring five niggas. You bring ten niggas. I guarantee you, we will destroy. Can, it, destroy. can, you, can you put in the second string? Five. <laughs> You're gonna need to bring your whole country, bro. Bring them all. Bring y'all asses right here to the soil where it's where it started. Where it started. Right. Right. Not where it ended up. <laughs> where it started, bro. We need that battle, and anybody else who sees this that was over there, that's that supports that fuckery. Come on, bring that. Facts. And y'all know we travel, so if you know you that person, and you see me or you see one of you, run it, run it, and you put your money where your mouth is. I got. I'll be commentator. Money for every battle I'm doing. I got ten racks that I will max Lilo at any time. And I'm backing over fifteen. Any time. I will max Lilu on any stage, any time, any day. That's my word. <laughs> We're gonna see that battle, that's for sure. The twins, I have nothing to say about the twins. Cause out of everybody, they show the most respect. And those, those are the twins, they have a right to be cocky. <laughs> Y'all organizers, don't. <laughs> you ghetto stylers, don't. You haven't worked for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you sit up. And you judge. You haven't even been in shit long enough to judge who you're judging. Right. But that's a different story. Bring that ass, though. <laughs> we want all rounds. All Black that. Label 18. We want all y'all smoke. All of it. All of it. So, I just wanted to tell y'all, y'all know how I do. And there's more. Yeah. I just gave y'all. 20%. Yeah, I gave y'all 20%. That's 20% of what one, really happened. Episode one of many. 
Right. So hit me with the inbox challenge accepted. That's all I want. And we'll see y'all later. 18 Black Label. Crow. Street dance. Street dance. Street, street dance. Street, street, street dance. dance. Street dance. Street street dance. Bruh. Yeah. Real freestyle. Real freestylers. From the streets. And come to your event. Don't know none of your songs and shut your whole shit down. Do your whole shit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's something different. We out of here. <laughs> what an epic controversy. This is the real deal. This is crazy. I don't even know what to say. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't have much to comment on because Tida has laid it all out. It's sounding like it is the way it is. So for now, until Ghetto Styles responds, I don't have anything to say because obviously this is all leaning on one side and I'd, I'd be really interested to see what, what everyone else has to say. I'm gonna end this video now. Thanks y'all for stopping by and watching this. I always try to be the first to be on the news and it's kind of difficult because I'm on the road all the time and I gotta wake up super early, go to bed late, upload the video, edit it, get all the footage. Please, for all the work I put in to bring this to you as fast as I can, give me a like, give me a share, leave some feedback in the comments. It really helps out my channel. I'm gonna be posting more information and more videos about this controversy because there's a lot of layers to this and I think it would be interesting to kind of cut the controversy up into a bunch of pieces and address it simply so you don't have to watch a 40 minute video to get all the info you can just watch a few clips thanks for hanging out my name's Robert Murray Mr. Fantastic peace <laughs>